The Beatles have taken their place in the UK Music Hall of Fame, but there are plenty more phenomenal acts waiting to join them, such as our next founding member. To induct her, would you please welcome two women who, like her, have risen to the very top of their fields, inspiring millions of other women along the way. The first is an artist who is frighteningly honest, deeply confessional, and always challenging. She is quite simply the preeminent British artist of her generation. The other is Britain's top female radio DJ, a woman who has gone on record as saying that her ideal date would be Bono, so it could be her lucky night tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Wiley and Tracy Emin. <laughs> Uh, back in the early 80s, when Thatcher thought she ruled the world, lucky for all of us, another woman came along. I would like to call her de grande fica, which is very rude in Italian, if anyone's here. She's the biggest, as far as I'm concerned, and the best. She has sex, she has style, she's cool. She's an inspiration to not just millions of women, but millions of people. And personally, I'm really proud to be presenting Madonna with this award tonight. <laughs> Madonna's music has always kind of, you know, just summed her up really. Madonna, the woman, it's, she's strong, she's powerful. Her music has always been um, the soundtrack to some great misdemeanors of mine in the past and some great parties as well. She's worked with the industry's hottest talent. She's always one step ahead. Um, she's got a unique style. I just admire her an awful lot and I'm really proud as well to be presenting this award to her. She's also got bigger balls than any man I've ever met. <laughs> and do you know what? I bet she'd be a real laugh to go to the pub with and kind of when they do that lockout thing and you just drink until the early hours, I bet she'd be really a lot of fun. So uh, I'm really proud to do this as well. So enough of me talking, enough of Tracy. We'll find out now what some other people have to say. Madonna's the queen of pop. The most successful female artist of all time. I just think she's so cool. She's Madonna. Hey, Mr. DJ, put a record on. I want to dance with my baby. You can't go wrong getting down with her. Her energy is limitless. I thought that uh, she had it all. I can't even tell you how many, you know, hit records she's had. She sells a lot, a lot of records. How many records has Madonna sold? <sighs> 550 billion, trillion, million, zillion. Something in that area. From day one, from holiday, right through to the present day. She's just got that will to win. There is nobody who works harder than, than she does. When she sets her mind to doing something, she does it with full force, pure determination. When she's doing something, she believes in it 100%. She doesn't compromise herself in any way. I think that's why she's had such staying power. The fact that she believes in her instincts and believes in herself is probably her greatest weapon. I love her attitude, powerful and strong, and she manages to do everything and do it so well. She's showing other women that it's possible to juggle all these things and that makes her more powerful than some men out there, you know, because she's doing it all. Obviously to women, she's an incredible role model. There are courses taught on the empowerment of women through Madonna. The canny thing about Madonna is she's always had a finger on the pulse. She pays attention. She has her ear to the ground. She's definitely plugged in. I think she makes that part of her business. When Madonna thinks of a concept, however she decides to take it to the next level, she does it with complete conviction. She's constantly coming up with something new that made everyone go, Wow. She reinvents herself every other minute, 
with, you know, different producers, different outfits, different sounds, different looks. She's just got a real knack for the right thing to do at the right time. She's not afraid of her sexuality. She's putting it out there. She kind of made it okay um, to be sexual as a woman. She was in full control of when she would make people gasp for air. What are you gonna do? She's controversial. She understands that if you're not talking about it, what's the point? She's got it. She really has it. She's done everything with class. She's still doing it. Imagine staying at the absolute top, which she's managed to do for 20 years. One of the most significant artists of all time for what she has symbolized for the doors she has opened. The music speaks for itself. Go and play the record. We're just here really to congratulate you. Well done. All your hard work is being rewarded. You are a truly exceptional, beautiful woman and person. And you look a lot better in this than we do. Yeah. Never again. Not for nobody. Ladies and gentlemen, the grand fika of all time, Madonna. I knew I shouldn't have worn a tight skirt. Um, if someone had said to me when I was a little girl growing up in the Midwest of America that one day I would be married to a Brit, that I would be living in England, and that I would be inducted into the UK Hall of Fame, I would have said bollocks to that. <laughs> And I, I would like to say thank you to Tracy, who's also a very grand fika, um, and, and to you, Joe, and to Stelly and, and Gwyneth. They're all formidable women, and it means a lot to me that they've said so many kind things. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank my fans and the UK Hall of Fame also for voting for me. Thank you. In, in spite of the title of the show, I'd like to think this award has more to do with my accomplishments and less to do with my fame. If, uh, thank you. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's great to be famous because it means people are listening. But just because you're famous doesn't mean that you have something to say. <laughs> yes. If I am grateful for anything, it is this, that by embarking on this long, arduous, and painstaking journey that began over 20 years ago, I've been able to find my voice, not just to sing with, but to ask questions with, to challenge with, to explore with, to explode with, to be in service, in service with, to create with, to laugh with, and to cry with. I am grateful that my voice has given other people a voice. And I'm grateful for those who have gone before me who have used their voice in a revolutionary way, defying convention, 
and sometimes even defying gravity. All right, I'm not finished. I'm also grateful to the people who have stuck their necks out and taken a few slaps. I've taken a slap or two myself, and I must say, I don't regret it a bit. In fact, I'm grateful for the slaps. And I, I know you're thinking she would say something like that. Um, but I'm grateful that I had something to say that provoked them. But most of all, I'm grateful that people were listening and that people still are listening. So thank you for this. Who slapped Madonna?